my beautiful three bedroom apartment. But I've made myself the plan that I needed, which now <laughs> means that I have a deadline. Um, I'm hoping to meet a cyclist on the road in the next couple of days. And I have an appointment in Jordan and Israel in the next few months. My host has very kindly put fruit and eggs in the fridge for me and milk. So I'm making some eggs quickly before I go. actually a military gated community just a private gated community residence and it's super cute all the houses are like little toy houses and different color pastel blocks um, and everyone is like super friendly here the shopkeeper and the groundskeepers it's almost like weirdly friendly so I've had a lovely couple of days here I did extend my stay um, but I really must push on regrettably <laughs> I'm really questioning if I should have indeed set off on the bicycle today um, because I've been invited to stay as long as I like and the cyclist I'm due to meet tomorrow has texted me to say don't do it <laughs> which I'm not sure if he's referring to the wind though he's coming the opposite way for me or the drivers but in any case my lovely host back here Ian has said if I do run into any difficulty he'll gladly give me a lift so I've turned down a lift I've left my lovely apartment that was allotted to me for as long as I liked and I'm on the road to Riyadh because I want to cycle every inch. So let's see if I've made a terrible mistake or not. I can't get out of Dammam. This is the second military checkpoint. The first one sent me back. I don't know what's in there, but I can't cross it and it's not marked on the map. So I'm having to do a big elaborate loop. This is not getting me very far at all today. trouble getting around it's taken up a massive portion of the city which is why I have to circuit it on this highway that man is comfortably one of the worst cycling cities I've ever been in and I'm hearing bad things about Riyadh's roads also Okay, I've skirted the military zone, crossed the railway, so hopefully it's going to get a bit easier from here. I have to cross this two-lane slip lane to stay on the main road. This one here goes around, it doesn't cross. And this is pretty standard of sidey roads in the city. crisscrossed by highways and none of the minor roads cross under or over the highway you can't move between each of these big city blocks without joining the motorway to cross the motorway it's extraordinary I've never seen a city built like this before it's five days on highway to Riyadh with no supermarkets on the service station so Five days with the food. Okay, let's try a Saudi one and an Egyptian one. minutes and I got my patrol car back and I'm not complaining it's just 
this part is relatively safe. It's the cities that are a nightmare. But still, once again, not complaining. Very nice to have free security. What a treat! Checkpoint. So um, my security has just checked my passport. He's taken a photo of um, the information page and the visa stamp. And I've learned this symbol. Can you guess what this means? Um, in a lot of parts of the world, I would think that it means money. But here, this means wait. At least that's what I deduce. I've seen it a few times. Wait. right now the whole cycling every flipping inch philosophy this road's pretty tedious and I have four more days of it plus after my experience in Damam I'm not really sure if I can be bothered to go an extra 500 kilometers of highway to go to Taith, Grand Mecca and into Jeddah maybe I should just go straight to Medina Over time, they switched around two or three times already today. This guy's not going to get a very long skin, I'm only going to take place further. Sunset, so I need to camp now. There's a mosque on my map, um, but I'm not sure how this conversation is going to go with my security car. Hope it doesn't make me push on because it's a long way to go. I've been given permission, I was told to bring the bike inside by the way, I've been given permission by my security guy who um, was told by his uh, sergeant, was the mime, uh, that I am allowed to camp inside the women's section of the mosque. What an absolute result. Probably not cool to eat inside a mosque so I'm going to have my dinner of bad hummus. Lebanese bread outside and then uh, run inside before it gets too cold. <laughs>